Hey guys, welcome to my new series, Design from My Couch. If you can't tell, I'm sitting on my couch. And we have this beautiful email here from Lemmy. I think that's how you say it. I believe this is Courtney Kardashian Baker's brand. <laughs> and they launched a new probiotic. And I thought this email was just so beautiful. I love the layout. And I was like, look, I'm sure other people out there saw this email potentially or see something like this. And they're like, how do I do that? Like, when I'm designing, what are the steps I need to take to achieve the technicalities that this one has, okay? If you were curious about, like, how everything is structured, how do I do step A to get to step B to have result Z... That's what we're going to cover, okay? Follow along. If this is really helpful, check the link in the description below. I have a full Figma design course that teaches you how to do this, okay? So check it out in the description below, and let's jump right into it. First thing first, I want you to take a look at the different sections here. We have our, almost like our free shipping banner, our main feature, our above-the-fold information, and then we have some good juicy details here, different modules of content and information in our final CTA. What I like to call out about this email that I really like is the textures, or at least that's what I call it. I call it like when your email has dimension. We have these like little blobs, as I usually call it, some blobbiness happening in the background. I know it's really hard to see, but like to my eye instantly went there. I was like, oh my God, yes. But there's these little swirls happening and they add an extra layer and dimension. So it's not just like, a giant purplish pink background. It has a little bit of something to it, okay? All right, let's go ahead and jump in. So I don't have all of their assets, but I'm gonna try to put this together in an easy way so you guys can really kind of digest the steps here. First things first, I'm going to, let me zoom in a bit. I'm gonna pop in my own frame where that's where my design will live and it's gonna be 600 pixel width. Let's go ahead and Okay, first things first, we need to get our frame on the board. So I'm going to make this 600 pixel width. And this is where our email will live. So let's go ahead and stretch this all the way down. And there we go. And let's go ahead and add a background color since we're pretty much going to be this pinky purple all the way through. First things first, we have this banner here. This one's going to be real easy. We're going to drop in a rectangle shape. And again, color drop this green. I don't have this exact font that they're using, so we're going to make it work. I have this other font here that I'm going to plug in instead. I'm just going to situate this font block right here. And then they have this, let me go ahead and center it a bit. There we go. And then they have this kind of star shape. I don't have this exact shape, but in general, what I'm going to do is go ahead and trace this with my pen tool. So coming through here dropping in a trace corner, then we're gonna use the rounded part. So it's basically, I can press these anchor points and they'll become a bit rounded. It's not gonna be 100%, right? Remove the stroke and we're gonna fill it in. Let's do it with black just so I can see it clearly. That's actually not terrible, but we can click this, whoops. We'll click out of that, double click, click this, there we go. And we can make these a little bit thicker so they're not skinny. Make that like that, bring that in a bit more, pull that one in, make that one the way it is. Okay, so we have our star shape a bit, right? So then we're going to basically shrink this down and plop it into our design over here. All right, our banner is in place. Now let's go ahead and drop in our logo. The next part we have is going to be a tad trickier. So this has more to do with text being following this circle shape, right? So if I drop in a ellipses, like so, I'm gonna remove the fill, add a stroke. So I see my lines. We're not gonna really use these, but I just wanna see them, right? And then I'm gonna drop in my text here. So we'll do for clinically studied, ah. And then they're using Ricoletta font. And then I, whoops, did not apply it. Ricoletta, there we go. Let's make this larger. And actually, let's see it. It's not gonna be 100%, but I just wanna see if we can line it up a bit better. There we go. And also, I think our text needs to be a little bit brought in more. And there is a plugin here called To Path. So we're gonna run that. So we have this one and this one here. And we're gonna go ahead and link and it then put it inside of that path but it's obviously upside down so we're going to move that around and get that in place there let's center it we can get rid of that text 
and get rid of this stroke. So then we have our text here. I might need to make it a little bit larger technically, but good enough. But that's how you're gonna make that text follow that circle. Let me go ahead and get that applied and bring over the hand as well. All right, I have this added in. I'm not crazy about the text, but you get the process of it. That's the most important part. So I added in the hand here, and then I have here basically stroke lines. Let me find them actually in my design so I can show you guys. Go. Okay, so I have an ellipses here. So I ended up basically copying the same size circle, put a stroke on it so it's white, but how do I actually cut out the things like the one on the left. So it's, this is how I do it, which is probably the like, not, I mean, there's probably a more optimized way, but I just make another circle that's the color of the background. And then I just put it over where I want it. So I just make it centered. Let me undo and undo, center it up. Let's see. Oh, let me pull this into my frame. All my things not in my frame. There we go, pull it in, there we go. And then I'm gonna center this one up. It creates that cutout effect like the one on the left. So basically just to get a close up, that's it. And then I'm just putting a different shade shape on top of it. Then we do have our stars here. I'm just gonna copy this one, pull this down, make it a tad larger. And let me pull that on top of everything. There we go. And then we're actually gonna make this one white. There's a little bit of a glow effect happening with the star over there. To do that, I'm just gonna get as close as I can. I'm gonna do a layer blur, but I'm gonna come in and adjust this maybe down to 2.1. A little bit of a blur to it. And there's probably a little bit of a white drop shadow that we could apply to give it a little bit more blurriness off to the sides here. If my mouse would pull on over. 5%. Okay, that added a little bit of a globe. So something like that. Then we can control C, control V, shrink this one down, get that one there. Control C, control V, pull this one over, make it just a tad larger. And then one more over here. Next, we have a super simple thing. We're gonna drop in our button. So our button is going to be a rectangle here. I'm gonna zoom in, turn it into a pill shape by grabbing the corners there. I'm gonna go ahead and make this black, center it up, and then let's add in our text. Like again, I don't have the exact same font, so I'm just gonna copy this, pull this down, make sure it's above all of our design. We'll do shop per capsules, make this white, maybe bold potentially, and we'll pull that above. We'll center that, spread it out a bit, and let's make it a little bit lighter. Here we go. Not exact, but at least pretty darn close. I think we also have a bit of like a blurring effect in the background. So similar to how we did the the shape, I'm gonna grab an ellipses, like just gonna put it behind everything. Let's see. I'd only want it behind my design. There we go. And then we'll do white, and then we'll come into layer blur. And we are gonna blur the heck out of this. Actually, let's go like 70, please. And we're gonna make it a tad smaller. Tad smaller, a little bit more. There we go. There you go. So a little bit of a, a blur effect. Done. I could definitely, the main thing drawing my eye is the font. I needed those to definitely be like the, what do they call it? The kerning should have been tighter, but you get it. You get what's going on here. Next, we have our little blocks here, which these are really fun. I'm gonna grab the rectangle tool. Let's go ahead and draw these ones out, Let's center it up. They also have kind of a curved radius on the corner, so I'm gonna curve this in. We are going to make our fill white, add in a stroke, maybe bumping it up to level two or two point, two point, whatever they call it. And then we have our title. So let's go ahead and drop in our title here backed by science. Let's make that Ricoletta, make it a tad larger, maybe 21. Make sure that's selected. Oh, that is 21. Larger than that, please. Let's go move my face out the way. No, oh, potentially, and maybe drop the spacing that's happening. Center that, beautiful. And then adding in our text here. So let me go ahead and grab that. 
So we have our text, and then we also have another section before I add in that image. We have a picture of the capsule. So I'm just gonna drop in another rectangle here. We can go ahead and drop the fill. I'm just gonna add the stroke line so that we're able to see it and just making sure that this is perfectly aligned so that it's not making it any thicker. There we go. So I'm gonna drop in the text, the image, and the molecular thing of the, whatever that is, we'll add that into. All right, so plopped in the text, the image, and whatever that thing is, and we then move on to our next section, which is basically gonna be rinse and repeat. The only kind of quirky thing we have is this section over here to the left. So let me just show you a quick hack when you're editing another section like that. I just copied that one. And then we have, I think the thing that's quirky about it is that it has the rounded corners and then it's a straight edge. So we have our base here. I'm gonna control C, control V. And then I'm gonna pull this in and then I'm gonna hold down option so I can just control this side of the design or this, the, the, the specific anchor point, that's what I mean. So that way it's gonna be straight. And that's it. So we have that one, we'll copy this one. Then we have another one here, which I'm literally just gonna whoop, throw it around, which we can go over to 180 so that it's straight. Then we have another one. It's gonna be a tad longer. And then our last one down here, slightly different where maybe the image is a tad bigger. There we go. And then we'll have our final call to action there. I'm gonna go ahead and add in the text and the images to these little Lego blocks here. That's how I look at it. It's almost like putting together Legos almost. So let me add in those images. All right. Fonts added in, text added in, image added in. It's not exactly 100% because I don't have the original assets, but close enough. So I just popped those into those different sections. And then the last piece that's here besides the button are these little kind of blobs hanging around the back end of the email. So I like to call these almost like dimensional pieces. They add texture. They add just something extra so it's not so plain. Like this one's okay, but also adding in these little blobbies is really good to add another layer to your design. Blobbies are super easy to do. Honestly, we're just gonna come over to our pen tool. Let's see, where's our first blobby? Over here. So I'm just gonna draw a shape, like connect it, remove the stroke, fill it in with white, and then let's go ahead and send it down below our design. Actually, first, let me curve the edges. That's important. Let's grab this. We're gonna curve the edges here so that it's nice and blobby-like. So curve, lovely. It's a circle. It's not like super, let me blobify it a bit more. Make that round. Okay, There's a little bit of something to it, a little bit. So we're gonna move this one all the way down our design. Go down to where it's behind everything. And then we're gonna come over to the fill. And then I'm just gonna drop the opacity so it turns into a light, nice light pink to it like our design over on the left, the original design. Perfect. Then I'm just gonna copy this blob and toss a blob over here. We got some blobs in the background. So put that one there. Then we have maybe a little one in the corner over here. So I'm just gonna make this one small, put it right there. Maybe just change the shape a little bit by curving it. We don't have to match this exactly. And then the kind of fun one over here that we have is like these like beams happening. So just to show you how you can like quickly edit these, actually don't even do that. You can just come over and let's say we wanna like, oops, we'll curve that. Then we kind of already, I mean, we have a little bit of a beam here. I'm gonna make it a little bit skinnier. Control C, Control V, pull it up and make this one a little bit thicker. And this one looks like it extends all the way down. Perfect, and then we have another blob here, which is gonna be, actually, let's move this one so that it's one big blob. So we have our circle here, and this one kind of extends down this way. We'll mess with these points so it's a bit cleaner, and done. Yeah, so that one's kind of a blob piece here. We can make this one maybe a tad skinnier so it's not so thick. There we go. But yeah, so we have our blob going this way. Maybe this one could be turned a bit more. So now I'm nitpicking it, but you can really plop in these blobby pieces so that it really matches well. So I'm gonna add in the last bits of blobs now. All right, final blob was added. We are all blobified throughout our design, but now we need to add in our final button. So I'm just gonna come up, grab our pill button here, 
drop it down. We are going to grab our fill, grab this color orange. We are going to change this text to black. Grab our pill, add a stroke. Let's do it too to match the rest of the design. It looks like we need to bump this one up a tad in. Wait, okay. And that's it. <laughs> I know that's it, but that's pretty much it. Recreating a similar vibe aesthetic, trying to dissect what they did in their design is what I just went through here now. Of course, there's a lot more tweaking that happened, making sure everything, oh, my text right here doesn't disappear. Let me grab that one. Tweak it so say four in one benefits for women. And then we'll make this one here and this one. I need to definitely shrink up, which I had for my other one, but I don't know what happened to it. She disappeared. And we'll make that one a little bit different. There we go. All right, that is the structure of this email. I think the only thing I want, I'm looking at it is the text right here, but you basically get the whole process. We have our top section, logo, our little star pieces, our blobby pieces, our different breakouts right here. We're going into the different sections. We're adding our images into those little side sections there. Our text, everything is just laid out and really digestible when you're looking through the design. So hopefully running through this was helpful. Planning to film more of these just design from my couch type videos. Hopefully you enjoy it. Again, if you're interested in learning how to design emails like this, like on your own and coming up with designs in your own templates, make sure to check out the link in the description and join my Figma design class. Okay, thanks guys. See you in the next one.